everybody. Well, I think I'm going to set up my video here by telling you um, that I have a love of old movies. When I was a kid and I'd come home from school, I never seemed to have much homework. So I'd always watch the old movies that were on TV after school. And I've um, developed a liking for certain uh, female characters in some movies. Some of these films I did see when I was a kid, and um, a few of them I just uh, discovered recently. So I thought I'd tell you about five fabulous female characters in the movies. And we're going to start with Jean Harlow in the movie Red Dust from 1932. She starred in this movie with Clark Gable and that's the key as to why I think this is such a cool character and she so does such a great job in this movie is because it's all about the chemistry between Jean Harlow and Clark Gable and all about the sex appeal in this movie. So check it out if you get a chance. Going from there, we have none other than Betty Davis in the movie Now Voyager, and that came out in 1942. And Betty Davis played the character named Charlotte Vale. Now, um, Jean Harlow's character was all about the sex appeal, but the characters coming up, and that's what I'm going to tell you about, all seem to be women who are looking for a place in the world, trying to find their place and how they fit in. Whether or not they should fit in the world, that's another question. Um, Charlotte Vale, a now Voyager, that character, uh, she was kind of a homely, mousy woman who had to go away to a hospital and try to make a new life for herself. Uh, I love the movie and uh, I think you might enjoy it too. From there, we have, um, I believe it's The Member of the Wedding, 1952, based on a book by the uh, Southern U.S. female author, Carson McCullers, and the character in that movie is Frankie, played by Julie Harris. And Frankie is a young woman, um, 12 or 13 years old, and she has to find a way to deal with her sister getting married and find way to deal with growing up. And Frankie, even though the character was only 12 or 13, was played by Julie Harris, who was an adult. And I believe she may have played this in the theater as well. Maybe an obscure movie. I don't know if many of you have seen it, but check it out. Um, Carson the Colors, also check out her books. From there, we have, oh, of course, none other than Audrey Hepburn as Holly Golightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's. And this came out in 1961. And Holly Golightly um, came from a rural area and decided to leave and make a life for herself in the big city. And of course, you know, Audrey Hepburn, she's classy, she's beautiful. And Holly Golightly is, was just a perfect character for her to play. Classic movie, probably many of you have seen it. Um, watch it again, you know, if you have, and check it out if you haven't. Then we go to 1974, and probably a movie that is on my top list of best movies ever, directed by John Cassavetes. Um, Maybe obscure, I don't know. I don't know if any of you have seen it. A Woman Under the Influence with Jenna Rollins playing Mabel Longetti. And I love Mabel. I love Jenna Rollins and I love this movie. Um, Mabel, she's quirky. She's unique. Um, I think she probably knows her place in the world or whether she fits in or whether she should or shouldn't or whatever. I don't think she has a problem with her herself, but other people don't know how to fit her in, you know, into their lives and how to deal with her. Um, great movie. Um, please, if you, if there's any of these five movies that you that you um, want to check out, check out A Woman Under the Influence. Uh, again, 
came out in 1974, starring Jenna Rollins and Peter Falk as her husband, and directed by John Cassavetes.